Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Locking It Down with Lucy. I hope you're all well on the chat today. <gasps> There's a lot going on in today's show. It's back to your regularly scheduled broadcasting of Locking It Down with Lucy today where it's just me wittering on until I can cease to talk no more, which uh, has yet to be put to the test. Uh, because, uh, yes, hello everyone, who is in the chat? Also... A surprise new segment has been added to show because Chris literally at the 11th hour came round and was like, Lucy, I'm here to give you this. -da 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 -da. So later on, uh, we shall be unboxing what there is in this and having a look at it. So that's the, the main part of the show. Uh, there's also, have you tried Cyberpunk? No, I haven't. I've got it in, well, this is technically my birthday slash Christmas present and I don't know whether well, I want to open it for the purposes of the show and uh you know podcast slash live hangout integrity but then I'm like I'm now I'm just being a bit naughty and just you know playing my present I don't know but we will have a look I'm excited to do you know what I love about it the most everybody it's this neon yellow this I love neon it's my favorite it's my favorite of the color swatches some people like their pasta, pastels, not pasta. You might like pasta as well. Some people like pastel colours, you know, your swatch of pastels. Some people might like their swatch of metallics. Me? It's all about those banging neons. I feel like if I could live in a world, well, I've yet to live in it yet, the neon life, although maybe it'd give you a bit of a headache, I suppose, if it was everywhere, but I just love, I just love this colour of yellow. I just want to hug it forever. Sorry, that's, I've got, it's got a little bit, uh, got a bit intense there. So that's the main part of the show. So we're going to be doing the usual segments, you know, back back in the old swing of things, uh, which will be the highlights and lowlights of the week. We will also have a clip of the week, followed by the main topics, which will be uh, what I'm playing and unboxing this bad boy, followed by potentially a new segment, uh, which I'm now going to call the Lockdown Throwdown. Uh, stay tuned for that. And then at the end of the show, seeing as it took off so immensely popular the last time I did it, I'm going to be trying to do video game character impressions again for you guys to try and guess. Uh, disclaimer. They will be awful. It'll be like 20 questions. So stay tuned if that sounds like something you're down for on tonight's edition of Locking It Down With Lucy. Let's see who we have in the chat today and welcome you all on this Thursday evening. We've got Charlie in the chat. Hello. We've got uh, Dreddy. Hi. We've got uh, Je no, Ra Rajiv. Rajiv? Hello. Uh, we've got Anti-Clockwise Pineapple. Welcome. Uh, the game itself is brilliant, but unfortunately it needs a few more updates. Uh, when is my birthday? It's the 23rd of December. It's... Uh, not, not the best birthday in the world, but you know, there are worse birthdays to have, I suppose. Uh, any um, props this time? Uh, props? Oh, I don't know. No, it'll probably just be me. It's just I'm, I'm just going to act from the heart, you know? All the acting comes from within inside my mind. Um, got my... Oh, the steel book. Nice. It's noon in California, says Gmail. Hello. Uh, hey, Cat Gaming. Oh, Cat Gaming was the one who's got the steel book. I've just got... But the regular one comes with some interesting things. My eye has started to twitch. That's interesting. What does that mean? Can you see it? It's this one. The eyelid is just twitching. It's twitching with excitement. I think it's just stopped at the optimum moment. I don't know. Did you enjoy that close-up <laughs> close of my eyeball? I hope you did. That's the content that you're tuning for. Oh, yes, that's the other thing. Well, we're going to get into it when we get into it. Uh, Dale says, hello. Terence, hello. Welcome. Thank you, everybody, for choosing to uh, spend your time here uh, on the show uh, with me and uh, you. So, <laughs> you and me, you know, like that song in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Uh, I've got you too. That was a terrible <laughs> rendition of the song. GMD, uh, welcome, hello. Uh, Zuma Boy, hi. Vault Boy Steve. Uh, oh, caffeine strain, was it ca uh, eye strain or caffeine? No, I have not had any caffeine today. I have been caffeine neutralized. Uh, right, so actually a little bit of housekeeping on the show for you today. My sister has, uh, well, this cropped up at the weekend and my sister, I found out, the true culprit. Uh, if you are so inclined and you like dogs, uh, would you be would you be interested in following Luna's Instagram account? Oh, hang on, I haven't done the screen capture. Oh, and I'm on the other side. I'm on the other side. Oh, hold up, hold up. Stay tuned, stay tuned. But uh, so uh, there you go. Luna now has her own Instagram account, which my sister is very much enjoying. Uh, Imogen, that is. Hi, my name is Luna Sky. I am a Border Collie and Kelpie. I am four years old. Brilliant. What? Look, this little Luna is a puppy. Look at her before her ears went up. She looks like a totally different. Before she got a big nose. Well, not a bad big nose, but you know, like her snout nose. And her little ears are like this because they didn't spring up yet. I think we need more Luna past puppy pictures. But, and there she is. In the snow. Ah. So if you want more doggy content, you can head over to Luna's Instagram. There you go. I've done my cheap plug 
of the day. Uh, let's head back to let's go back to the show. Get back to the show. So that's all I've got in the housekeeping. Um, pets have the best social media accounts, to be honest. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, in before Luna is more popular than Lucy. It's it's probably going to happen. I mean, I heard Luna is going to have like barking it up with Luna. Don't think that makes that that doesn't make any sense. What would Luna's channel? And she's just going to talk about dog stuff. Probably. F- Probably far more interesting. Uh, oh, Doomsday, you, jo- you joined just to see the, the papa. I am glad. So let's get into the check-in, uh, which is the highlights and the lowlights of me. You'd love to see more of Luna. I'll get her, I'll get her to do some stuff, you know. She's always... Today she looked at me quite sadly because she thought she was going out, but I just was running out to collect cyberpunk. She was like, hmm. So she'll always be around. Let's see. So check-in. The highlights, well, I've got a new check-in. The near-death experience of the week. Bum, bum, bum. So I was driving out in the streets, you know, me and my dad, we go for driving lessons because the driving lessons had stopped. Oh my God, what am I drinking? You are very right, Terrence. What am I drinking? I've been saving it for so long. Hold up. Rup, rewind. You'll have to hold on to that cliffhanger. So I've been saving it for like two weeks. It's the Fanta Exotic. Ooh, so exotic because it's green and it has fruits that I do not recognize. I think, what would you call that? I guess that's an orange. That's like a peach, apricot, plum. They're all of the same family, I suppose. It's hard to hard to tell. And then what's this thing? Is that a pomegranate? But why has it got green on the inside? So um, here we go. Mango? Mango. Maybe it is mango. I still think it's of the peachy nature. Okay, so here we go. Let's do the taste test. Gosh, thank God, Terence. You're, you're on it today. I've lost all focus passion fruit fruit says stat man pat ah you people know your fruits uh ah everyone's knowing their fruits i'm just i do not know i do not know of uh now i can't even open it this is embarrassing oh here we go oh it smells exotic oh my god it's not even the color i thought it would be and i've dribbled it all down myself it's i thought it was gonna be orange but it's it's actually water, a watery pink color to be honest, it just tastes like any other um, tropical drink, but with a tang of goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just tastes like tropi- tropically and um, fruity. But, like I said, like a step up, you know? It's not just like, meh. It's like, ooh. Oh, I enjoy that. I enjoy that. Let's pour it in. Whoa. Yeah, look, can you see the pink colour? Oh save some of that for later let's have a a nice a nice a nice swig of it actually there's quite a lot to go my favorite part of the show is when i just sit here and drink <laughs> and everyone just has to watch and i'm like mm-hmm. i think that is passion fruit hmm. i'll have a good um a good lug of that get a fanta to sponsor me no no i need either pepsi or dr pepper all right although that's a dangerous that's a dangerous route oh yeah someone is calling out my Doctor Who mug. Now today, actually, everybody. So it's uh, a, Bethany got this for me way back in the day. In my house today, everyone, it was the what I'm calling the mugopolypse. The wait, the mugopolypse. Basically, it was the apocalypse of mugs. So we had like so many mugs, and it was time to say goodbye to the ones that just don't get used anymore. So we threw about a good ten out. If you couldn't remember who got it for you, or you feel like you're never going to drink out of it, it was gone wiped off the face of our kitchen surface so uh managed to make managed to make sure this dog here one survived even though it's got an eensy beansy chip in it but i think i remember bethany giving it to me with a chip in it and she was like you won't mind will you and i was like no because i'm a monster mm. very good very good anyway back to the story so i was driving round the block learning driving with my dad anyway hey, you know how it goes so we were driving and this learner car comes out of the junction even though we had priority of way and almost hits us but because i was driving quite slowly and they were with the driving instructor they put the brakes on and i was just like oh and then my dad was like oh that was a close one girl that was your first near miss and technically i never uh I, 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 I never did anything. So that was the near-death experience of the week. Near-death experience of the week. Uh, but then the uh, the normal low light was I had the day off on Monday. And uh, I had to go to the post office. I mean, and the, the queue was out the post office. It was really boring. No one likes a trip to the post office. And uh, 
Yeah, it was just cold. And then when I got back, I was just kind of bored. And then I opened my secret Santa present. But thankfully, it was just staring at me. It had been staring at me for so long. And I was like, I've just got to know. I've just got to know what's in it. I just want to feel the presents. So I, uh, in a state of madness, I just opened it up. And thankfully, they were wrapped up inside. But my secret Santa, shout out to whoever you are. You are very generous. There is a lot of presents in there. Way more than £10 worth of presents I would like to put out there. Because I was like, there's so many! And I was just like putting my hand in there. And like touching them all. Trying to feel them all. But then I put them back and felt slightly guilty. What I need to do is, the Christmas tree is now up. I need to put them under the Christmas tree. And uh, then they're out of sight. And I can actually open them on Christmas. So... That's my uh, my main lowlight of the week. If anybody else has any lowlights, uh, please feel free to drop it in the chat. This isn't just me talking into the ether. This is me talking to you now for some music. <laughs> I don't know. That's if I was a, a radio DJ. I'd be like, don't forget everybody. Uh, whilst you were doing that, let's. Uh, I'll also go on to my highlights. So just put in your lowlights, all your highlights of the week. Whichever you feel is more appealing to you this Thursday afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time of day it is for you. Um... Bethany's low light of the week was my halloumi wrap became uh, in its pitta, not wrap. What's that? Where did you get... One time, me and Bethany... Bethany has sold me on this dream of the Burger King uh, halloumi burger. And she said it was so good. We tried to order it one time at our house. They couldn't order it for reasons beyond insanity. And I've still yet to ever try this halloumi burger of dreams. So one day, one day... Uh, Rainjo Toe says I got a new job. Congratulations, well done. Uh, I hope your job goes well. Uh, low light was uh, no next gen cyberpunk till 2021, says uh, Vault Boy Steve. Yes, that is a shame. Uh, but you know, it's a game that will last a long time. Sirens are on my end, if you can hear that. Ring the alarm in the 4 l uh, 4 Oh, it came in a pit of bread, not a rat, Bethany is saying. Um, welcome, Bethany, to the chat. Uh, Bears Bond is or bound. Bears Bound is trying to platinum crash for it's absolute torture. My thoughts and prayers are with you, friend. <laughs> God, I can't even be asked to finish the game, let alone platinum it. That's how I feel. Uh, the low light is me turning 27 this week, uh, and the highlight is uh, got four pa patty burger to celebrate. Uh, <laughs> ah, I've locked our uh, platinum, bro, Steve. That's why I like that bit in SpongeBob when the burger's like, "I'll always be right here," and then SpongeBob's like, "In my heart." And he's like, no, Spongebob, in your arteries. I mean, dude, you're, you're 27. I've only got, like, two more precious weeks in my 20s. And then it's over. Gone. The biological clock. <laughs> Death is approaching. The, 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 but, no, I'm just going to pretend that. B birthdays don't count. It's fine. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay. Uh, highlight was got the uh, platinum of God of War. Uh, God of War? No, Shadow of War platinum, says uh, Sujan. Congratulations, I love a good platinum. Oh, we can have the Burger King on Sunday. Have you worked out in quarantine? Pfft, no. What the f Look at this. There's no working out to be done. I mean, I do try and do my stretches, actually. But, um, I no. Hello, Adam. Welcome to the, uh, to the stream. Uh, low light is headaches from pouring down lines of code for days on end, says Flint. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, what have I got? So my highlight, you know, so for the last couple of weeks, I've been saying like, oh, I have to get off the stream because I've got to watch I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, which has now sadly come to an end. But I was very happy that G1, because Giovanna, I really wanted her to win. Me and my sister, we did not think it was going to happen. Like I thought of like in the back of my mind was like, maybe it could happen. And then when it literally, when she, they were like, the first queen of the castle, Giovanna, me and my sister just literally went, oh, she did it. Oh, so uh, that was really exciting. Both, both people worthy winners in my opinion but um i guess maybe i'm slightly biased because i liked giovanna before she was even when i'm a celebrity but uh yeah i thought she was nice i'm kind of sad that it's over it gave me and uh, my sister like something to do in the evening like we'd go down and like we'd do our stretches it'd be something to sort of like watch gave you a change of scenery so um yeah did i work out before quarantine no i always said to myself that i would work out when i got to 30 and now that's slowly approaching <laughs> Uh, and then what else? Oh, of course, the, um, I did get to do my driving lesson properly again today, so that was fun. And then the major highlight of the week was, of course, Adam being on the show last week. Thank you again to Adam for joining me on the show. That was a, a lot of fun. And I've also got him to start watching episodes of Doctor Who. Sometimes I feel like it's my superpower, getting people to watch episodes of Doctor Who. Because I was kind of like, what did I, I think, because me talking about Doctor Who, 
he watched an old episode, and then I was like, well, you should probably watch the next ones that you haven't seen. So, uh, yeah, my work here is done. <laughs> okay, Lucy, getting people to watch Doctor Who. Um, so that's, that's, those are my uh, main highlights of the week. Uh, let's see what else people have got. Uh, stretching could count as a workout, I suppose. I haven't done my stretches today, though. That's, uh, that's a bad sore point. Um, Ben's highlight was managed to platinum Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Congratulations. Now, is that, um, uh, what's it? Uh, is that like a fairly straightforward platinum? Is it a lot of just, you know, your typical Assassin's Creed, find everything, do everything, collect-a-thon Ubisoft experience? I'm imagining so. I do not have the game. Chris has it, and I've watched him play it. It does look nice, but I just can't Assassin's Creed anymore. I'm, I'm all assassined out. Uh, one of Brad's one of my highlights uh, has been messaging people who are selling over price PS5s online, pretending you're interested. Gosh, I'm mad. I can't. I can't believe these people. That's kind of. That's really sad. Um, Doomsday highlight was going for the plat in the order 1886. Ah, oh, very good. PS3 Gaming has been playing Cyberpunk. Um, nice. That's very. Uh, I'm glad. Well, we're going to talk about Cyberpunk in the main part of the show, but I do have another highlight of the week. It is, of course, uh, my Spotify wrapped. I finally got it. I was looking forward to it. Not as in-depth as the one before, but then my brother did remind me that the one they did last year was more of like a decade. Um, like a look at the whole decade rather than this just one year. Because I was I wanted to see stats, comparison stats from this year to last year, but it was just, uh, you know, one thing. Hey, Foxy Cat. So I'm going to take you now. Oh, Cat Gaming says, I have too many games and not enough time. That's a highlight? Well, you know, we each got problems, kid. Uh, so I'm going to take you now to this is my live reaction of me looking at my Spotify wrapped for the first time for Clip of the Week. Regarde with your eyeballs, if you please. Or just shut your ears and turn off the stream. Whichever you, whichever you choose to do. Right, enjoy. I'm going to drink this Fanta now because it is good. All right, let's see if this works. So this is my Spotify wrapped for 2020. Uh, all right, I'm pressing the button. This is for editing purposes. I'm pressing the button now. Slimey. Interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to get so copyright struck, I've just realised. Maybe I should turn this down a bit. Turn it down a little bit. I mean, if anyone's going to earn some buck a buck at Christmas, it might as well be the, the things that I uh, I actually liked. So Let's start you off with a win. Two thousand... You discovered 1,273 new artists this year, even in 2020, but you still found ways to grow. Okay, that's cool, I like that. Gender. Gender lust. Gen I'm not even reading the stats. Your top genres were. Okay, very cool. Number one, rock, pop, punk, yeah, dance pop, alternative metal, pop rock. History, well, it's kind of a bit of the same thing. Oh, this just goes by itself. Yay! One house of I love this song. Your top song of the year was Shock and Awe by uh, The Sea. Yes, by Zebrahead. I do love this song. I listened to it so much at the beginning. It reminds me of God of War. The story of your 2020 was Shock and Awe. Oh, so now it's going to be with this. I have to tweet them this. I love Zebrahead. The most... January the 1st. 25th stream. What does this mean? May 11th. 32. I do remember playing a lot of God of War listening to this song. Ooh. Oh my god, yes, listen to this song a lot of time. Oh my god, these are my top. Actually, at the beginning of the year, I did listen to Halloween Brooks then a lot. That was. Oh. Your 2020 contained multitudes. You deserve a playlist. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. You're a good listener. Feel free to show this to your exes. Guess. Oh, okay, quiz. Guess your top podcast of the year. I'm going to say it might be Talk is Jericho. Talk is Jericho, baby. What song? Why would you just want to go? You listen to 10 episodes of Total of Okay. God, it's always so quick in total. Okay, my top podcast, of course. Yeah, was those four. <laughs> Interesting. Your top podcast genres were sports, arts and news. Yeah. Fifteen of your playlist games, forty-nine new followers. Please influence responsibly. <laughs> That's cool. Throw it back. Since time wasn't real this year, you visited some old folks. Yes. Compared to the other listeners, what decade do you listen to the most? I'm gonna say 
1990s, let's see. Not quite. It was at 2000s probably then. Be like 2000s punk. It was 2000s. Your top song from this time was Dance Dance by Fallout Boy. Okay, that is a good song. Who was by your side in 2020? I'm going to say All Time Line. I think I listened to a lot of All Time Line this year. Guess what your top artist of the year was? I'm guessing All Time Line. It's normally Murray Gold's list to a lot. So close. It's not. Oh. Well, of course, it's always Murray Gold because I listened to... You were in the top 1% this year. That kind of skews the results. Your favourite song is all the straight... Oh, that's the one from the trailer. What? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. That is a lot. You listen to... Oh, that song. Oh, it's, that's always number one, but I did know that All Time would probably be the proper number one. Oh, cool. It's cool. It must be picking all the songs. That, okay. Thanks for playing. Wait. We did share it. Wear it like a badge of honour. Oh, okay. I could share any of these. I need to understand some things. I listened to one no thirty one thousand nine hundred and fifty eight minutes of music. Cool. I didn't. I do miss some of the other stats, but there we go. That is my Spotify rat. Oh, it's just picking a color, is it? I like this color. Then let's go here. I like this color. Oh, let's do the same thing. But there we go. Back to you, Lucy. That was my Spotify rat. I'm gonna stop the record. I want to stop. What do you mean 67 months? How many months have I been... That's a lot of months. 67 months is like four years or something. I don't know how that works. Anyway, I'm going to share this now. Goodbye. Well, thank you, Lucy, from the past. So, uh, yeah, did, yeah, I think it was a joke. I asked my brother about the Spotify. I was like, it told me I had 67 months. And he was like, I think it's a joke because of, you know pandemic time but um yes booker was saying hey booker by the way uh that's yes yeah, so that he's saying pointing about out that i'd listen to a lot of artists it's because this year i probably just listened to music um just so much just because of work and stuff uh, which is why i probably found so many new artists because of the playlist group and because of just i'd literally just stick it on although i did have to take a break from music because it was driving me a bit doolally i would like get like really like crazed on a song and be like couldn't stop thinking about it couldn't stop singing it so i had to uh rest rest my ears and my brain from music uh now bethany's also saying that i listened to the bellas podcast because they did talk about pregnancy a lot and i was curious because bethany was pregnant because they, they talked about pregnancy like in depth and I was like, oh, okay, so that's uh, that's why I listen to some of those. But I do love a bit of Talk is Jericho, baby. I thought that was cool. I liked that. I again, I would have liked to have seen stats from the year before. Like, you listen to X many artists this year, that's X many more or less than you did the year before. This is how much you listen to music this year compared to last year. But alas, you know, we can always get what we want. Uh, yes, the joke did not land. Um... Yeah, so there we are. That was my. Uh, I thought that was quite quite well put together. I liked having the music as well in the background. So uh, I love a bit of an end of year wrap up. It uh, makes me happy. Yes. So that is a lot of uh, Murray Gold that I listened to because um, I, I was even I was back on my bullshit today. Everybody listening to uh, Murray Gold. It's because there's like a so many Doctor Who tracks and because it's all like orchestral music I find it really helps me focus apart from when you get a couple of the ones where there are actually songs or a couple of the ones where you're like oh my god this is when Amy and Rory left <laughs> so sometimes you'll be like typing away like yeah so uh, when you want to upload this asset and it'll just suddenly go oh and you're like oh, oh assets just, just the Doctor and Rose should be together forever that's that's the only time when it goes slightly um slightly awry um yes uh, vault boy steve the saturday night special was what actually inspired me to do this show i was like you know chris jericho uh you know what well, a uh, role model to us all uh he was doing it and i was like that's cool i like that um so yeah that's uh will i be doing the gaming end of year wrap up i will uh, although it's gonna be slightly different this year because i've barely played anything new so there we go that's uh my main things my main things uh i don't know if anyone would be interested but i guess i could share my spotify playlist with you all which has all my top songs of the year so that you can um hear them too i mean if you're interested let me know and i'll drop it in the chat later uh so i like how i like how i found a lot of doctor who uh fans your personal game of the year minus demon Souls. i can't i can't decide that yet there's been too many um the chameleon circuit in the in the band i don't remember that uh yeah amy and rory song during the um pan the paradox is life oh god it's just there's too there's too many good songs i do quite like some of the christmas ones it's like that's stowaway anyway 
I want to talk about the main things, oh, the main things that are on my mind. So firstly, what am I playing? So at the weekend, I started playing Spider-Man Miles Morales. I wanted a bit of a change of uh, a change of game, and I hadn't started that yet, so I booted it up, and I have been enjoying it much worse. It's a, it's a great game for those of you who haven't played it. I feel like this feels like a bit more of a truer Spider-Man experience because Peter's Pisa. He didn't really feel like a kid, whereas Miles feels like an actual kid, which is what Spider-Man's supposed to be. Uh, and also Peter Parker, he just bangs on about MJ all the time. Hey, when I was doing this, blah, 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 blah. shut up, Peter. No one cares about you anymore. You're in Bangkok or wherever you are with MJ. Um, so I also think I enjoy Miles more as a character. I think I like his... Uh, he has like a nice cast of friends. He uh, also has better ability. So do you know what? It's going to be so weird when the next Spider-Man inevitably does come out. I don't know if I want to play as Peter Parker anymore because he's just like not got as cool manoeuvres, manoeuvres or move sets as um, as Miles does. So it'll be interesting how they how they do that. I also feel like the game has a bit more like heart and soul to it somehow. Like I'm I'm more into it and I don't know why. It just has a bit more of a vibe about it. Oh, and the app. So you have these little like side missions where um, on an app and those are like really fun because they're just like silly. Oh, and you get to rescue cats. And when you rescue the cat, the cat's like, wow, the cat's loving it. I love rescuing. I love rescuing cats in this game. I've only actually rescued two, but it's uh, it's a lot of fun. So I haven't been doing jo- oh, blah, 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 sentences. I've been enjoying my time with Spider-Man. It also feels like it's not a massively game that's going to overstay its welcome. There are a couple of gang hideouts that you do have to clear out, but not to the extent that you did before in the first one. I remember getting really fatigued with that, especially the um, the military people in the first one. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but uh, I remember just getting really frustrated fighting those. And there was just like so many different... Like, there was the demons people, then there was those people, then there was the Fisk gang people. Here you've got... I think, well, so far I've only got two factions that I have to clear out. There are still the the, uh, the street crimes, which can be hit or miss. I find it slightly irritating that you might show up to one, and it's one that you've already done, or you show up to one, and it doesn't tell you what the requirements are for that street mission until you started it. The worst case scenario is when you show up to one, and you jump on in there with your venom punch, and it's like, by the way, you should have killed three people using stealth. I was like, well, geez, you could have told me that before I started, but alas, you know, what can what can you do? So yeah, uh, there's, there is another side mission thing, which is t- there's, there's a few collectibles. One of them is like his uncle is kind of like, hey, uh, Miles, me and your dad, we like to make music. We used to find music on the streets. We made our own music out of sounds we heard. Go find them, Miles, and then you can make your own music. I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. This seems like a good... And then you're just walking around like, is that the sound? Is that the sound? What a, what a, I mean, I like the idea of it, but it's slightly silly. Um, Spider Cat's surprise cameo in Stray. Oh, ooh, that would be a, that would be a good crossover. So people are enjoying Spider Man as well. I feel like this weekend, if I put my best foot forward, I might actually be able to beat it. Very doable platinum as well. I've seen a lot of people platinuming it on the streets of the platinums. Uh, the thing is, I think it's kind of strange that. The Platinum requires you to play the game again on New Game Plus, but as it's a relatively short game, maybe that's why they've done that, just so you can get more more playtime out of it. It doesn't seem like it's the biggest deal in the world, and doesn't seem to be turning people off it. So I shall make that. That could be the Birthday Platinum, perhaps. Uh, I, shall, uh, I shall see. It seems very much like it's uh, pretty much run-of-the-mill. So that's all I got, that's all I got to say about Spider-Man. I do like the, the, uh, the music in... Um, in this game as well like you know when you used to like swing around uh, as spider-man this one's got a bit more of hip-hop beat to it and just miles is just a, a bit cooler i like him i like the kid he's a good kid uh what does everyone else say oh and also i'm playing it on performance mode uh, i've not tried fidelity mode i just went straight for performance i might do a bit of a test to see what happens if i like if i played on fidelity would i really feel like a difference because the combat is still amazing i think that's that's the highlight like i don't really care about the story but i feel like i'm into the story of this game more than I am the previous one. Like, I don't even remember what happened in the previous game, but this one I could probably tell you. Uh, but yeah, it's just, I like going in there and I, I, I was talking to a friend recently about how I'm just over stealth. Like, stealth is fun, all right? I get it. It's a fun mechanic. You want to do the thing and be as sneaky as possible. The problem I have with it is there's not much difference to it. It's always the same be quiet go up behind the person, press X, or you sort of wait over the people, press square, and just take them out, or shoot them with a bow and arrow. 
it doesn't matter what game it is. Spider-Man, Ghost of Tsushima, um, Uncharted, Last of Us. It's the same strategy over and over again. Whereas, so now I just like to go in and go all combat because that's that's what is different in all of these games. The combat in The Last of Us Part Two is different to the combat in Spider-Man. So I'm getting a different experience. So I think I've just given up. I'm given up with stealth. I just can't be asked. I'm just, it, it's fun to an extent, but it, I'd rather just get get my hands into the combat and uh, spider-man when you're like in the zone you're just in the zone if you just miss a beat then you're gonna get all kinds of like whacked up but when you're down with it you're like uh, so yeah i i enjoy that i enjoy that a lot yeah they released the patch two days ago stealth is fun but it takes too long. yeah that's the thing as well it does take i just I ain't got time for that no more uh, so I was just wondering if anybody else has... Uh, Miles is just younger and more hip. Peter is a classic plain old Parker from the comics. Mm, yeah. It's going to be it's gonna be weird going back to back to it. Punch first, stealth later. Agreed. Uh, only um, stealth if there are trophies in it. So yeah, I just feel like... Oh, doing the Plath Last was part two right now. Mind-numbingly boring. It says eyeball. Yeah, I'm going to get to that eventually. I feel like if I'm going to get the Platinum for the Last Part 2, I might just stream it. Because that might be the only way I can get through the slog that is the sad parts of the game. You just have to be... Yeah, so uh, Statman Pat is saying you just have to be patient with stealth games. Which I feel like I've done my time though. I've done my patience. I'm here for a different experience. I'm here to punch fools. And that's what, that's what I want. But let's get into the main thing that I'm very, very excited about. Because everybody... It's uh, Cyberpunk launch day. Happy Cyberpunk launch day, everyone. I'm just going to hydrate hydratify. So, how many people in the chat have played Sp Cyber Spider-Punk? Spider-Punk, Spider-Punk, the crossover you didn't know you want. Maybe he, is. he could be in Cyberpunk. So, over 2,000 awards. So, in the box, we get two Blu-ray discs. So, I'm imagining one's probably for installation. And the other is the actual game. Uh, we get the world compendiums. Now, this is what I like. I like the physical bits that you get with um, with physical copies of the game. Like, it would pale in comparison without this. We also get stickers, postcards, and the game map and digital content access. That's cool. There's a lot of stuff going in here. What does it say? Night, chain, Night City changes everybody. All right, here we go, everyone. Cyberpunk 2077 is an open-world action-adventure story set in Night City, a metropolis obsessed with power, glamour, and body modification. You play as V, a mercenary outlaw, going after a one-of-a-kind implant that is the key to immortality. You can customize your character's cyberware, skill set, and playstyle, and explore a vast city where the choices you make shape the story and the world around you. Cyberpunk. One player, seventy gig, blah blah blah, blah blah, small player price. So there you go. That's um, that's what it says on the back of the pack. Now, am I going to be naughty and open up my present? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can I open this without scissors? I got snails, so I can, I think, just pierce the seal. Now, this will also be a big test for me because so far I have yet to test my PlayStation Five uh, on any discs. So I have the um, I have the disc version of my PS Five. But uh, get to put a disc inside it, you know? Haven't uh, haven't done that yet. So I'm, I'm curious to see what this will be like. Will it kick up a fuss? Will it be noisy with a disc? Also, it's going to be quite difficult to get a disc in there because it's on the other side. But there we go. Film has been filmed. Oh, it comes in a nice little sleeve. Oh. I don't know why I wanted to smell that. I just wanted to smell the newness. Okay, so we have everybody in this unboxing. The things and the game itself. So let's have a look. Oh, Vault Boy C said the discs in the PS5 are silent besides the installation. Ooh, okay, cool. That's good. All right, so what is this? i guessing, i guessing, let's start with this. So we've got the compendium here, which is this nice little book. World Compendium uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, so this is the manual. God, I love a good manual. Who loves, who doesn't love a manual? Oh, and it's got all the story in here. This is some bedtime reading. Zero One, The Past. The birth of Nice City. It all began with one man's vision. Richard Knight dreamed of a city free from poverty, crime and stifling regulations imposed by central governments. In addition, its city council would boast... Boost? Boast? I think it boost. Members of the largest corporations. Why? Well, if they could run companies generating billions of euro dollars, surely a city would be a no-brainer. Sunny Cali, Megacobs, Big Tech, 
What could possibly go wrong? Hey, it started in 1990. It started when I was born. Hey, we go back when I was a little termite. Oh, and then it goes all the way to 7077. No, 2077. Wonder what I'll be doing in 2077. Hopefully I'll still be alive. That would be quite cool to make it to... Actually, I'd be 86. Isn't that horrifying? If I make it... Maybe I should send myself a message for the future. But what if I'm dead? That would be quite morbid. Send myself a message to the dead. When I play Cyberpunk. Anyway, this is going weird places. Um, so yeah, then we got the... Uh, so that it goes all the way to the story, then it goes to present day. So, Ninth City is made up of six large districts, divided into smaller sub-districts. Uh, Every district has its own style, unique city, and sites worth exploring. So we've got the city centre, Watson, Haywood, Westbrook. Where is this set? Is this set somewhere real? Because I know it's in the real world, but I don't know if it's like... I guess the world will change. Well, what was the world like 77 years ago? What year was it in 77 years ago? I don't know. Maths that I cannot... Who the fuck are you anyway, Samurai? Oh, is this us? Oh, okay, so these are the people you could be. You could be a nomad, a street kid, or a corpo. So, a corpo are Ariska employee until a disastrous turn of events tosses you out on the street. You used to swing from the top rungs of the concrete glass jungle. Now you're at the bottom, starting from scratch. Okay, cool. Street kid, raised on the streets, you know life is... A uh, is an endless hustle, and yet others, just people like you, somehow have it better. What's stopping you from having it all? Or a nomad. You're a member of the nomad family that was forced to escape to the city. Will you become the city's top gun for hire? Return to the Badlands a legend? Or with your tail between your legs, only you can decide. I feel like a lot of people play as nomads. But, I don't know, I just like the, I like the name of Street Kid. I'm turned off by Corpo, because it sounds like you used to work, you know... For the man. I want to work for the man. Unless the man's Becky Lynch. I don't know. What, what, what does everyone else normally... What cyberpunk journey do people pick? Oh, okay, yeah, this is it. So let me know. Let's see. Um, is there a Greg's in the city centre? I hold it from Greg's quite a bit now. Um, people stare as you smell a plastic box. Well, I know. It smells... It just smells of good newness. Good newness. Friend or foe fixes nomads. There is a lot to... There's a lot to digest here. I might make this my evening read. God, this is great. This used to remind me, okay, when I was a kid, uh, and I used to go to the shop to buy video games uh, that I'd buy, that like I'd wear, wear, wear a video game that I would play on that day. You go to the little shop, and then you sit in the car, and I would open it, and I would read the manual on the way home, and then feel very car sick. But I was like, just look at the pictures and whatnot. So this is cool. I am actually going to properly read this. Why is it not in the actual box? I don't know. But everybody loves a little bootlick. So there we go, there's the bootleg. Uh, 1943. So what was happening in 1943? I suppose it was the war, so it was different times, I suppose. Now we're just in a pandemic. Oh, um, so what was he saying that Lynch and Rawlins had a girl? Um, Renee Young is also pregnant. My brother was telling me, like, wouldn't it be funny if they had a girl too? And um, then they could have, like, the female shield. That would be good. Like, Sierra, Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta, Shield. I'm trying to open these postcards, but I don't want to ruin it. But maybe, I don't want to have to, once you open them, they cannot be unopened. I don't think I'd be able to put the sleeve back on. And it's, oh, it does have, oh, okay, it's meant to be opened, it's meant to be. Oh, there's a little sticker. Like, much like when you open bread. This is, yeah, this is great. You know what also used to have great manuals? The GTA games. Actually, the Rockstar games in general. Brilliant, like, because they have a map of the world. They would have, like, the Vice City one is, like, made, like, a tour guide, um, a tourist guide. Right, here we go. So we've got this one. Ooh, and it's yellow on the back. Maybe I should decorate the background of the show with these. The show. When am I going on the show? Some cowboys. Cool. I like that. Ooh, this is nice. This is, like... Can, are these showing up nicely? Oh, I like this. And then, greetings from Pacifica. Oh my god, we're in California! Because this is like... Uh, did I, was I, was like, I was really late to get that. Good afternoon, homie. Well, that's definitely California. Where is this like, you know, lots of places, like, smushed? This is Cyberpunk uh, 2077. So it's like... Because this looks like, like a really busy downtown area. But maybe that's like Chinatown in California. I don't know. I've not been to proper California. But I like these. These are really nice. I might stick them up in the background. Venice Beach. Oh. 
Right, let's see what else have we got. What's the other thing? Oh, okay, okay, this is Night City. <gasps> is this the map? Oh, now, do you know what's the worst thing about maps? It's, um, you open them and you've got to know how to close it again because if you don't close it cor correctly, then it's going to bend all weirdly. So here we are. Official Night City business. Let's open it up. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, it's on the other side. I heard that this game is like, it's big, but it's not like um, as big. It's more like dense built up rather than big outways. Oh, and you can see it by the map. So there you go. We can't, we can't get the whole mappy goodness. On the map, on the map, on the map, on the map. So let me just, look at that. So San, Santo... So I just, I just, I have to just look at it. Sorry, I just have to embrace it with my eyes. So there's a water spaceport, Northside Industrial District, city centre, a stadium, and then there's lots of just like empty space around here. Dam. Ooh, this look good. Okay, this is interesting. I like it. Uh, now, how how must how does one fold? I think it folded this way. I think we opened it that way. I like that. One time I did with the GTA 4 map try and jot down all the pigeons on the actual physical map. Wasn't as helpful as one, one, one thought. And then for the actual game itself. Now what do people do with this? Do you keep the sleeve or do you throw the sleeve away? Because obviously it's a little bit of a palaver to keep doing this. But at the same time I like the sleeve. Right let's open it up. And also another thing. Because I stack, <laughs> I stack all my games like this, but you'll never feel it feels so nice when you open up a new game. Like I want you to do this next time if you buy a physical game, just touch it for a bit, and then touch your other games. They just don't feel the same because you know they've been scuffed a little bit. Let's keep the sleeves. Keep the sleeves. Okay, I'll keep the sleeves. Right. Ah, uh, ooh, oh, I just love it. It's so yellow. So. Play disc, data disc. Okay, so this is the uh, the data disc. So I'm guessing this is the one that I put in to um, install the game, and then that's the one that I play the game with. Oh, and there's a little message in here. Oh, a little message. How sweet. What message would that be? Let's just get it out. <gasps> oh, there's more things. Oh, there's lots more things. Hang on. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Oh, there's a reversible cover. <gasps> it broke. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The plastic broke. But I don't know where it broke from. Does it still close? Okay, that's the main bit. It's still closed. I don't know where that bit of plastic was. Probably a bit that's just left over. And it just came from who knows where. That's so weird. Anyway, it looks like there's a reversible cover. Oh, okay, that's cool. So if you want, you can have the female uh, V on the uh on the thing <laughs> oh gosh oh it's falling down it's falling down right let's put that back i don't want to destroy everything okay let's read the note if i can put this back in the case yeah, that's that's unfortunate when you <laughs> bethany you broke my gift i can't see where it's broken from all right everybody oh hang on let's look oh stickers oh they feel interesting oh my god they're like stickers with a feeling oh I can't, it's kind of like tarmac, but smooth. So we got these bad guys. I don't really know what to do with stickers. I never really stick stickers on things. Do you stick stickers on things? Like I know a lot of people like stick stickers on like their laptops and stuff, but I just, I just don't want to. I don't want to tarnish the laptop. And then we also have Hungry for Cyberpunk. And you can buy some of their t-shirts and merchandise if you, if you wish. So... Let's see. Welcome to Night City. The year is 2077. Lucy is 86 years old. Things are bad for the most part, complicated at best, but they're about to get a hell of a lot more interesting for you. A job of a lifetime is on the horizon. A wild ride spanning dozens of hours of tech-fused adventures through a world unlike anything we've created before, and you're a huge part of making this happen. Whether you've been following Cyberpunk 2077 2077 for a long time or only found out in, it, about it recently 
bought the game just after it came out or later down the line. We'd like to thank you for the support and waiting all these years for the release. We wouldn't be where we were today, doing what we love, if it wasn't for you. It means everything to us. As has become a tradition of ours, we invite you to enjoy something extra, a number, a number of free DLCs, a small token of our appreciation for believing in us and spending your money on our game. It's time to stop being so, so sentimental. The world of the dark future awaits. Get out there and do your thing. The cyberpunk team. Now how do I redeem this? Have I just been showing you all the code? More de oh, for more details about claiming your DLC, visit the website. I got to visit the website, apparently. So there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Digital ton. Okay, I'll we'll do that. Well, thank you very much, Bethany and Chris. And thank you so much for uh, dropping the present down for me. In <laughs> apologise to Bethany. I'm sorry, Bethany. I'm very grateful for, for the game. Now I need to put it all back the way it came, beautifully. Will you be streaming the game? Well, this is the question now. Oh, I stick stickers in notepads I keep. That's a nice one. Um... Do I play the game? Because technically, it's not my birthday. And I also kind of want to, like, unwrap it. Maybe I should just wrap it up myself and unwrap it. And then, <laughs> and then I can feel like I've really done it. Because I do want to complete Spider-Man first. But I do also... I don't know, it's a quandary, everybody. Put What should I do? Should I play or should I not? Ba -da -da -da. Oh, how do I close this? If I play, there might be trouble. Something has gone weird in this case how does it close how am i struggling to close a case it'll be quite dangerous to stream it just install it wait a bit okay okay hey alex how's it going i can't actually close it it's unclosable the game is telling me i have to play it's lost its integrity what is the bit that broke i can't even find where it is now it doesn't close gonna come and eat me i did not break it we've got it on photographic videographic footage that breakages did not happen i just opened it and it just it just snap oh my god it really won't close where is the mechanism oh my god well that sucks yeah we need someone needs to go back and look at the look at the um the footage in slow motion it just, it just doesn't click anymore. Is there a way I can get a new, a new plastic thing to put it so I can still have it? I can't live like this, everybody. I'm going to be tossing and turning at night knowing it's open. I can't, I can't know it's open forever. It's like an unresolved issue. I'm going to die and become a ghost. And then when they say to me in ghost counselling school, why are you a ghost? I'll be like, well, because my cyberpunk case wouldn't close and I feel like, you know, I've got stuff left over. It's too much. <laughs> no, I didn't damage it. I 100% did not. Well, I'm just going to have to put this to the side and uh hope for the best oh man i'm gonna work this out later i'm gonna fix that i'm gonna fix this problem and find where that plastic went uh good thing you have to sleep fair point fair point mm. oh i can buy a cheap ps4 case okay that's good mm. wow it's almost the end of the show already i had so much other things i wanted to talk about mm. okay well i might i might skip this for next week's show then because sometimes I do put more things on the show than is actually possible, but I guess the cyberpunk thing is quite a big deal. Um, but I did want to talk about Toy Story. But we can save that to next week, because I have deep feelings about Toy Story. Me and my sister, we watched all four of them, like, at once a Sunday. And um, that's it, everyone leaving. I'm like, no, Bethany, no! And uh, you know what? They're, they're great movies. And uh, I've, I've just got, I've got a lot of feelings about them. But for now... People, uh, put the uh, put your Q&A, any questions you have in the chat, before we go into the lockdown showdown, where I shall embody characters from a video game. <laughs> I like this drink a lot. This is a good drink. So there we are. What's up? So put your Q&As in the chat, and also uh, let me know your thoughts on Cyberpunk if you've played it. Now, people are talking about the bugs. I also would like to... Um, to say, like, I wonder how much the work from home environment may have affected, you know, the goodness of this game. The game is very ambitious, so I feel a bit sorry for them that maybe they weren't able to deliver the high standard quality that they wanted to. Like, I feel it's strange because everyone's been working from home for so long. The problems haven't ceased to exist. The problems that are there are still there. 
Uh, they say it has more bugs than bug snacks. Hey, I see what you did there. Bug snacks. But I heard that it's got not as many on PS5. Also, this is a game that I want to, like, savour and cherish. I've, I've got it, Johnny. You missed the unboxing. And then the break boxing. It's a game I want to savour. I don't want to beat it over Christmas. I don't want to beat it in two months. I, I want to savour it. I want it to be there. Like, The Witcher was there for me. Like throughout my whole ps4 journey actually i got the witcher as a present for myself when i had to have an operation and uh, then i kept it and it was always in the background um for me to come back to and i hope cyberpunk could be that for me as well um they'll release a patch uh, eventually day one adoption rarely comes without uh she literally just opened yeah cyberpunk 77 yeah you missed that bit uh, oh maybe i can buy a case then did i already say that i'm waiting for the bugs to be fixed yeah i feel like you know will the game have multiplayer i heard that apparently it will but not until later down the line. I think they're going to sort out the main game and then the DLC and then uh, they will do the um, thing. The main story can be beat in under 10 hours though. <gasps> really? It's not as in-depth, um, Byron. I thought it was going to be like The Witcher in depth. That makes me sad. But I still, I still just like the aesthetic of the game and I hope I don't mind being a first-person character in an RPG world. Like, I always feel like Okay, I have a question for everyone in the chat. Who is your favourite character in a video game from first person view? I honestly don't know if I have an answer. I don't feel like I've really resonated with any character in a first person. Like, Jason from Far Cry 3? He might as well have been RJ. They were the same bloody person almost. I mean, I guess Booker from Bioshock is interesting. I don't know. Is that an answer? Homie Mason. Doom guy from Doom. But does he have much of a character? Kylo Ren from Dying Light. Sure. Okay, people are getting in with lots of uh, lots of uh, answers. The girl from Mirror's Edge. Doom Slayer is his name. The Dragonborn. But you can third person the Dragonborn, Ross. And are they really a character? I feel like you are the character. You make the character. That it's not like a character like, you know, Nathan Drake is, for instance. So now people are just saying people that I don't know because I don't play many first person shooters. I mean, are any of the Call of Duty men? Are they any good? Um... God, God, who is God? Master Master Chief? Says Bethany. I almost called him Master Chef. Da, 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 da. What does Master Chef, do? Master Chief, do? Third per first person games generally makes you the character. You don't emphasize with it like a third person. Oh, Mason Black is uh, Mason is Black Ops. Oh, I see. So yeah, I don't know. Um, third person is like watching someone over the shoulder. Yeah, I'm. I just I can't. I don't play many anyway. Like even the Borderlands characters. They're just not as... I just don't know. I just feel like I find it hard to connect with them. So that's uh, that's my opinion on that. Uh, if no one has anything they would like to um, to ask or talk about in the chat. I don't know if I've missed any other big news beats this week. I've been pretty hardcore on just work. So I don't even have enough space in my hard drive to install Cyberpunk. I heard it is quite big. It's like a hundred and something gigabytes. Maybe I should just install it in the background. I'm so tempted to play it. It's so difficult i can't i can't bear it staring at me open either it's really driving me nuts <laughs> thoughts on the uncharted movie nah i mean i'll watch it whether i like it or not i don't know i've never been a fan of the movie from like day zero i feel like just play the games there's no need for a movie because it's never gonna it's never gonna live up to the the goodness of the games that's my opinion. Did you get the COVID vaccine? No, I'm not. On, I'm not going to get it for a long time. Probably, I'm not on the list of any of the people, uh, and I'm not 90. <laughs> I may look it sometimes, but no, uh, I am not. Resident Evil games. What are we talking about that? Oh, the Game Wars. Forget about that. What's ha uh, it's happening in the middle of the night? Is it? The games will be more epic than a movie could ever be. Exactly. What do you think is going to win Game of the Year? I think it's probably going to be The Last of Us Part Two. Have the Game of the Year awards already happened? Probably. Who knows? What happens to games like Cyberpunk that get released in December? Can they be considered as Game of the Year when most people haven't played it? I guess it's quite um, I guess it's quite difficult. Oh, it's the Game Awards tonight with Jeff, Jeff Keighley. Oh, it's happening in three hours. Oh. Yeah, I think Last of Us is probably going probably gonna to sweep it up. Oh, yeah, Cat Gaming. Now you're talking. I want to see some Hogwarts too. Mm-hmm. Um... Oh, okay. So, well, I guess it's like in the middle of the night for me. I probably won't be able to watch it. Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, Why do I can't say that anymore? I used to be able to really say it, and now I can't. 
Silent Hill rumours tonight. It's Tsushima. Tsushima. Uh, I wish they announced which Witcher 4. Well, they've only just finished Cyberpunk. Give them, give them a break. Oh, Games After December Awards goes to 2021. Ooh, okay. That makes sense. I've got to go to sleep, Cat Gaming. I'm, I'm, I'm too old for staying up for this. So I've, I've got to sleep. Right. I'm going to finish this drink. And then we're going to go to the Lockdown Showdown. I want to start embodying some characters. Okay. <clears throat> Acting. Oh, so if you want to watch, uh, Cat, uh, Foxy Cat is going to be streaming uh, the Game Awards. So watch along with her. Oh, I forgot to say, I don't know if the trophies are any good for Cyberpunk. I shall see. It's an RPG. We'll just take time. So this is what's going to happen. I am going to become a video game character. I'm going to try my best to impersonate them. But I need you guys in the chat to ask me questions. You know, it's been like 20 questions or whatever. So you say, are you alive? And I'll say, yes, or no, or whatever. We'll see how this goes down. So I'm going to embody a character now. Put your question in the chat and see if you can guess who I am. So who have I got as my first character? Okay. So this is just, this is just me getting into, uh, getting into the, the zone. So I'm the character now. So I'll just wait for uh, some questions. This is kind of awkward now. You can't just ask me if I'm the character until you know. So, I am not Nathan Drake. Um, <laughs> I do not smoke a cigar. I do not know how old I am, but I have been alive a long time, I think. Are you a bad boy? Hmm, depends. This is a weird game, because I've realized Kratos! Just gonna write it was Kratos! <laughs> now if it was the witch I'd be like, hmm, I hate Portos. <laughs> Hair colour would be I have no care. Okay, so that was the first one was Kratos. We just sort of started up. Okay, next character. Let me just uh, get into the character. La -la 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 -la. Okay, the voice. Well, I'm supposed to give it away with the voice. That's the point. I'm supposed to be sort of just like Kratos. <laughs> right, okay. Three, two, one. I'm the character now, guys. Ask me a question. What colour is my hair? Uh, I don't really have hair, but I guess if I did, it would be blue. Maybe you could say it's my hair. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not I'm not those characters. Uh, I'm not from Snack Tooth Island, but I would be a little worried. Maybe they might eat me in some places. Uh, no? Uh, are you in a run and jump game? I suppose I do do a lot of running and jumping. But mostly a lot of running. It is Sonic! Bethany got it right! And, and Shaxco got it right. It's- oh, and Booker- and Booker T. I didn't see you. Yes, I was- I was indeed Sonic. Um, from Sonic the Hedgehog. The one that could speak. Because he's always, like, very chipper and up there. Okay. Next character. Character number three, everybody. Three, two, one. Hello. Ask me a question. <laughs> the, the watch thing gave it away. Interesting. Oh my god, you got it! It was Connor! He never even asked me a question! <laughs> I wanted to say, Hi Daniel, my name is Connor. I'm a machine sent by Cyberlife. Oh, well there we go. I, <laughs> I was Connor. Wow, you guys are good. Or maybe I'm just terrible. Okay, next one. Okay, right. This one I've got to be a bit more in character. Alright, three, two, one. Now I'm just standing now I'm just standing around waiting for a question. Wait, I've got to, I've got to think of the accent. This one's got an accent. Sorry, I've got to, I've got to look in my accent calendars. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not Arthur Morgan, but I'm close. But I'm, I'd say I'm better than Arthur Morgan. Uh, close, but not quite. <laughs> no, I'm a female, but I'm in a man's world. It's, it's, it's not Dutch, but I used to know Dutch. He was a, he was a character. I am Sadie, but I think Sadie's got a bit more of a gruff. Uh, voice that she cut. She she's a bit deeper, isn't she, than I'm being right now? Cause she's like, well, I used to have husbands. Um, yeah, it was it was Sadie. <laughs> I love Sadie Adler. If there's another Red Dead Redemption game, I wanna be Sadie. 
Can we make it happen? Okay, here we go. Final character uh, on my list today for guess that character. Start asking your questions now. Three, two, one. <laughs> I can't do it without smirking. <laughs> Um, I've been around a long time, but I suppose you could say at least 20 years, but I, I don't really age much. I've, uh, I've just been around the scene a lot. Oh, what a great artifact. Don't you love ancient artifacts? My father loved ancient artifacts. Oh, if only I could complete my father's work. Oh, this is just amazing. 20th century technology. It is Lara Croft! <laughs> it is! Way! Well, well done, everybody. I guess I just sort of got into a bit of improv and just started to become the character rather than wait for the questions. <laughs> All she cares about is her damn, is her damn father's work. And Jonah! Oh, Jonah, I didn't know where you were. You fell off a cliff, but can I tell you, I found something about my father. Oh, isn't it great? And then she's, he's like, Laura! Because for some reason, he, when you said father, it gave it away. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's all the uh, that's all the characters I have uh, today for this edition of the Lockdown Showdown. Uh, thank you for playing along. Uh, uh, w will I bring this segment back? I'm not sure. I felt much more confident in my abilities before it became time to actually open my mouth and speak the words of a character. And then I was like, oh no, oh no, I don't know. So, um... Well done, everybody. Well done for playing along. Maybe, maybe I could do a movie one. Although I'd never, I'd never really watch films, so that would be, that would be quite difficult. Oh, maybe I could do a movie. Who would I be? I don't know. Let me think. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Right. Well, I'm doing a movie one. Okay. I'm a character now. Gonna do some big numbers. Oh wait, what is it? Something about the serious scares. <sighs> oh, and then what about this? Or. So I just went. It's all. It's all. In, Bethany got it right. It's Randall. Well done. Well done. Beth. I knew Bethany would get that one. <laughs> it, it, it was. It was Randall from uh, Monsters Inc. <laughs> I quite like just doing this now. This is quite. It's quite funny. Bethany, we should do Disney. Hmm. What other Disney films do I uh, do I watch other than Pixar? Let me uh, let me have a quick think. Let me just look through the old filing cabinet of uh, Bethany's favorite movie. You know, I feel like Toy Story might have turned into mine. I'm not so stuff. Okay, I know, I know who I'm gonna be now. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> what am I doing on the internet? <laughs> okay, look at look at the shoulders. Look at the shoulders. Got the shoulder moving. <laughs> okay. <gasps> yeah, you got it right. It's <laughs> simple. This is this game was supposed to be twenty questions, and now it's just turned into me. <laughs> but I'm just pretending to be characters. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> this is such a dumb game, <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's do another one. Let's do. Because <laughs> I just like doing this game now. <laughs> I just pretend I'm people to myself. <laughs> More game characters. Okay. <laughs> no, I was doing like shoulders, like liars. I used to practice this as a kid a lot, okay? Very important, getting your shoulder movements down because as, as a lion, you want to get that movement going and you also want to make sure you have the resonance in your voice for the purr. I can't purr. Um, <laughs> Wait, how would one purr? Where does that come from? It's got to come from back here somewhere. It's got to come from the little flingy bit. Surely that's got to go... Bar, 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 something like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, yes, I did. I did. Um, Bethany is correct. I did used to pretend I was lying a lot. It's from the soul. Oh, okay. Right, let's think. Uh, okay, I'm going to be... Uh, oh, I don't know. I need to be... Because so I did think of a character, but I don't know how I would act as this character. Um, can you can confirm you cannot purr? Exactly, I can't purr. This is me now just filling for time as I think through films that I've watched. I want to go to another Disney film. But I don't want to be a human, because humans are boring. But then a lot of Disney films are about humans. 
and there's a lot that I've... How many ones are about animals or something else? I can't think. I'm now just, I'm now just f f like, you know, f frantically stalling for time for, for a character where I can just be, okay, I'm going to be, I'm going to be someone a bit different. Oh, that guy. I've just seen in the chat someone also saying some other people, the beast dude. I don't know how I'd be the beast. I'll be like, all right, no. There's, the beast is like this because you've got to have the teeth and then, but only the two that are like that. And he's like, no. Get out of the castle! Oh, I know, I, I got one. Okay, ready? Hey, how's it going? Of course you'd uh, want to be me. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is, it is Gascon! Gas, Gascon, that's the swing. Gaston! No one! Da, da, Gaston! Da, 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 da. He's very much like, Bell, hi, you're reading a book? Ugh! God, how dare you! I'm just gonna stand here and properly get it all in your face. Uh, so, there. Right. Uh, unless I can think of one more, then <laughs> I might just call it call it a day. Oh, hang on. What if I be a wrestler? Okay, I'm going to be a wrestler now. We've moved we've moved across the spectrums. Okay. All right. Maybe I should I should be someone simpler, or shall I be someone a little? Well, I've got to be someone with a proper gimmick. Okay. All right. Ready? I'm saying it before I've even thought of the person. Three, two, one. What you gonna do when the Hulkster comes and puts the stream on you, brother? She's gonna open the cyberpunk. She's gonna play as a street kid. Oh, she's gonna do it. That's now it's turning into the macho man. Oh, the macho man. <laughs> but what you gonna do when Lucy streams pirate cyberpunk all over you, brother? <laughs> yeah, it's sort of um. And no, I didn't. I didn't. I'm, the, the case is already broken. Although. The case is not closed, both literally and figuratively, okay? Uh, no, the microphone man's like, the megaphone! I'm going to work out why this case doesn't work. Um, right, I think it's time to end the stream, to be quite honest, because it's now going into depths of insanity that I didn't know needed to happen. So before we end it... Oh, hello. Camera moving. I'm going to open my advent calendar for you all. You can watch me eat chocolate. So today's day is the... Oh, it's a bit warm. A bit warm. It's the 10th found it found it sometimes you do feel like oh god why is my eyesight failing me maybe we'll play this again everybody someday um and we'll see so now it's just jingle all the way boring i don't want to eat it now that was boring thought it'd be something a bit more interesting some of them try and challenge you um so let's uh, where's my pen gone i've got to cross off cross off another day of lockdown gosh my throat feels a bit funny now after all that <laughs> got a funny throat so there we go. Another day of lockdown done. What's the date next week? Let me look at the calendar. How many dates until... How many more shows until Christmas? Oh, so there's one more show, and then it's Christmas Eve. I will probably stream on Christmas Eve, just because I've got now else to do. So, um... <laughs> uh, what? What's your... Okay, so... Don't use your nails to get the chocolate out. Oh, I suppose I should just, yeah, pop it out. I suppose you're right. Well, there we go, everybody. Thank you so much for an episode uh, of an uh, episode of joining me for this uh, edition of Locking Down with Lucy. Maybe next week, if nothing else happens, we can finally talk about Toy Story 4 because I have many thoughts about it. I think Toy Story 4 is better than Toy Story 3. Come at me on Twitter. Come at me. I will stand by that until my grave. So there we go. That's my hot take for the day, but we will get into it more. Um, thank you all for being here. The 17th is the next one. Thank you. So I will see you on the 17th. Until then, have a great week. Look after each other. Thank you so much, Bethany and Foxy Cat, for being in the chat and, you know, keeping things on the up and up. I'm going to decide now how I'm going to fix this or if I should just play it. Maybe I shouldn't bite it. That probably isn't the best thing. Or should I just wrap it up? Who knows? Who knows? Um... Oh my god, Jas! Although I kind of agree, but disagree, because I still think one's the best. Alright, I'm gonna keep 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 it keep us next week. 
So uh, keep it locked on Locking It Down With Lucy. Oh, oh, sorry, before you all leave, I've got some housekeeping. Sorry, at the end of the show. So on Saturday, keep them peeled. I have a video. I've actually created a video, everybody. It is, um, it's not very interesting, sorry. But um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try and like make something. So um, it is my trophy logbook and trophy collection update video to keep you company on those long, cold grinds in the winter. So that's going to be on Saturday. And then tomorrow, if you are so inclined... Um, Let's go to the screen capture. There you are. Don't forget to follow Luna. Uh, I will be... Oh, no. Where will I be? I'm going to be on a podcast that is live on the internet tomorrow. About 8 o'clock, half 8. Uh, it's not this podcast. Look, it's me. I'm there. It's the Almost Sideways podcast. There you go. So if you are around tomorrow, same time-ish, uh, me and Adam from last week... We'll be both on uh, this podcast, uh, and it's a live thing, I believe. And if it's not, then you can just find the VOD here. I think that's the details. So be there, or be a square on your controller, or be mashing that square button. I don't know, whichever you whichever you prefer. Um, wow, you actually do YouTube videos, I know, right? God damn. Right, I am ending the show now, everybody. It's getting hella hot in here. I will see you all next week. Have a good one. Look after yourselves, and uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs>